Hai Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh Kembali dengan Madam Mazia Muhammad dan topik number 3 Topik Data and Signal Part number 2 And kita akan tengok topik number 3 adalah Digital to Digital Conversion Dalam topik ini kita akan bincangkan about uh, How we can represent digital data by using digital signal Then ini melibatkan 3 teknik Kita akan learn about line coding, block coding and juga scrambling Right. So what means by line coding? Line coding ialah process of converting digital data from sequential bit kepada digital signal. We know that in order for us to send the data from the sender to receiver uh, through the digital data through the uh, from one sender to receiver, we need to convert digital data kepada digital signal. Kemudian dalam bentuk elektronik signal sebelum diterima by receiver side. Alright, at the sender, digital data are encoded kepada digital signal. Alright, kemudian sampai dekat receiver will be decode balik kepada digital data sebab komputer both sender and receiver computer side only can understand about binary data 0 and 1. Alright, this is what we call line coding. Line coding lah is a process to convert digital data kepada digital signal so that sender can send the digital signal and receiver side juga adalah dalam bentuk digital signal kemudian di decode back kepada digital data right dalam topik ini kita akan look at beberapa uh, definition of data element signal element alright what means by data element adalah the smallest entity that can represent a piece of information dalam bentuk bit while signal element adalah the shortest unit uh, of a digital signal to carry data element. Uh, there are two things tadi. is either data signal or data signal atau data digital data ataupun signal digital signal. Right? So data elements are what we need to send. Signal element are what we can send. Alright? Data element are what we need to send Why signal element the only that we can send Alright So that is about these two Data element and signal element Alright This is the difference between data element and signal element You can see from here We have data element here Alright This one lah one data element Is either one or zero And we have one signal element uh, This one one data element per one signal element We call R equal to one Alright R equal to 1 is means that R adalah 1 adalah 1 data element divided by 1 single element. Alright. So from here we have 1 data 1 and 0 and we have 1 signal element which is here only 1 or 2 level. Alright. So number B we call as 1 data and have 2 signal element. Alright. 1 data here we have 2 elements 2 signal element dalam 1 data B. Alright. So here 1 divided by 2. Alright. 1 adalah 1 data element. 2 adalah 2 signal element. Alright. That's number 3. Alright. Number 3 adalah example C adalah 2 data element per 1 signal. We have B. Alright. 2 data B. Alright. 2 times 2 adalah equal to uh, 4 combination 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. That's we call 2 data element. But we have only 1 signal element. 2 divided by 2 divided by 1 equal to 2 r equal to 2 alright this is like example of 4 data element with 3 signal element 4 divided by 3 alright we have 4 data element ataupun 4 big binary right 1101 and 3 signal element dalam 4 data element alright that is number d r equal to 4 divided by 3 ok jelas kat sini Right now kita tengok adalah perbezaan between data rate and signal rate. Data rate ialah the number of data element can be sent in one second. Ataupun unit measurement adalah dalam bentuk bit per second. Signal rate ialah the number of signal can be sent in one second. Alright. Tadi lah data rate, the number can be sent in one second. Signal rate, the number of signal that we can send also in one second. Relation between data rate and signal rate adalah we call as bulk rate. Bulk rate actually uh, similar like signal rate. Uh, S equal to uh, C time by C time by N time by 1 divided by R. Alright, this is one of example. You can see this one. S equal to uh, signal rate. Nampak tak? 
S equal to C times by N times by 1 divided by R. Okay? So, here, a signal is carrying data, each one data, element, this is one of example. Okay? Satu signal is carrying data in one, which one data is element is encoded as one signal element. Alright? If one data element is encoded in one signal element, we, we know that R equal to 1. Which is 1 divided by 1. Alright? If the bit rate, okay, bit rate adalah equal to 100 kilobit per second. Alright? What is the average value of the bulk rate if C equal to 0 0.5? As sama dengan berapa? Sekiranya C equal to 0 0.5. Menggunakan formula tadi, okay, we know that S, which is bulk rate ataupun signal rate equal to C times N times 1 divided by R. Okay. So, now we can see from here adalah, okay, um, here C adalah 0 0.5 Okay, N adalah here adalah okay, N adalah 100 kilobit per second tukarkan kepada bit per second 100 or 100 right 100 darab 10 kuasa 3 okay, that is 1 adalah bit per second alright darab 1 divided by 1 which is R equal to 1 alright so kita akan dapat 0 0.5 times 100 thousand kita akan dapatlah 50000 okey 50000 dan signal adalah measurement lah signal per second alright jelas ataupun kilo bulk alright so that is the bulk rate equal to c darab dengan n darab 1 divided by r okey Alright, seterusnya kita tengok adalah DC component. Apa kita panggil DC component and self synchronization. DC component adalah direct current component. The signal that have zero frequency and the average amplitude we call as non-zero. Alright, that is direct current component. Alright, self synchronization lah is a method to correctly interpret the signal received from the sender. Is a method to correctly, alright, is a method to correctly interpret the signal receive from the sender alright so that is self synchronization kemudian kita tengok this one this is what we call lack of synchronization alright uh, above the last sign we have a signal sending at the sender side alright then we have the number B last signal that receive at the receiver side that is effect of lack of uh, synchronization we can see the signal receive is not at the same time that uh, in the time or the period is not same like the sender side so you can see from here uh, right this one allow one data and one signal element all right there is so r equal to one all right then here when receive are not equal to one because in one single element all right let's see here we have right we have multiple right? we have multiple uh, data or multiple signal level or signal element here right? so that is we call as effect of lack synchronization alright then we look at our next topic dalam digital to digital conversion and line coding scheme there are few types of line encoding scheme or line coding scheme but in our syllabus we only focus on unipolar and polar Alright, and polar we have multiple line coding scheme like NRZ, RZ, Manchester, differential Manchester, and we have bipolar like AMI, we have multi level, multi transition. In this topic, we only focus on unipolar and polar, but for polar also, we only focus on few topic here only NRZ, L, and Manchester uh, scheme method. Alright, so kita tengok satu persatu. This is what we call unipolar scheme. Alright, use only one voltage level, which is positive voltage defined bit 1 and the zero voltage defined bit 0. Boleh padam ini? Alright, this is unipolar. Unipolar adalah we call as, alright, so this is unipolar. Number 1 adalah, nampak? Number 1 adalah unipolar. Atau we call as an unipolar NRZ kat sini. 
Okay, so we have one here. Only represent positive represent big one and zero for uh, represent zero voltage. All right, we have one adalah positive. All right, zero represent zero. Okay, so all right, so this is unipolar and RZ scheme. All right, only one level, uh, one data level and one signal level. Di mana kat sini we can see adalah uh, one bila kita tukar kepada signal digital signal uh, this is data signal 1 equal to positive 0 equal to 0 volt alright so 1 equal to positive positive here ialah means they have they have value for this they have amplitude for this value alright so next we will look at on polar level 2 adalah polar Alright, polar kat sini kita akan fokus on 2 only NRZ, L dan juga Manchester Alright, have two version of polar Alright, NRZ, L is mean that Okay, tengok kat sini Okay, satu NRZ, L, satu Ialah represent negative to voltage Alright, so negative to voltage Ini adalah polar Polar represent 1 adalah negative to Voltage or negative voltage Ataupun by negative uh, Okay, so, sorry so, One equal to Here adalah negative voltage Kita tengok sini, macam ni je lah Negative voltage One, zero Adalah represent by Positive voltage Kita tengok example Selepas ini, alright And now that I tiada dalam syllabus Kita tak perlu look at on this Alright, so now kita tengok NRZL This is one of example Okay, so zero adalah Mewakili Alright, zero mewakili positive voltage Alright, nampak sini Zero mewakili positive voltage One mewakili negative voltage Alright, jelas Alright, zero mewakili positive Zero positive One mewakili negative One adalah negative One adalah negative and zero adalah positive This is one adalah NRZ level Alright, so jelas kat situ Alright, so next kita tengok adalah Manchester And RZ tak ada dalam syllabus Alright, kita tengok Manchester Manchester adalah Combination between RZ Dengan return zero dengan NRZL, alright NRZL tadi kita dah tengok Alright, so this one adalah uh, this one ada dia adalah NRZL Okay So now kita tengok Manchester Boleh? Manchester Okay So ialah combination between RZ dengan NRZL Di mana B1 represent by negative to positive Okay kita tengok this one B1 adalah represent negative to positive Negative to positive Nampak? It's from negative To positive Alright One adalah mewakili negative to positive Zero mewakili positive To negative This one positive to negative Alright So that is uh, an RZ L plus RZ Ataupun kita panggil Manchester Okay So now kita tengok example here Right, so example here Here we have zero kat sini Alright, zero mewakili apa? Zero again Zero mewakili positive to negative You can look here Positive to negative Alright, dia akan ada uh, Transmission ataupun Ada perubahan di tengah-tengah Data -tengah signal level Alright, so this one adalah zero to Okay Positive to negative Alright Positive to negative adalah equal to zero One adalah mewakili negative to positive Nampak? Zero adalah positive to negative Zero adalah positive to negative One adalah negative to positive One adalah negative to positive Alright So jelas kat sini This one adalah Manchester Which is combination between RZ dengan NRZL Okay So that is the thing Alright So uh, untuk unipolar kita kena tengok sama ada ok, so tengok sekejap ok, alright so this one tak ada dalam uh, syllabus AMI tak ada dalam syllabus alright, so this one, right 
Okay, so that's it for digital to digital conversion. Uh, kita akan look in on topik seterusnya lah digital to analog conversion. Stay tuned until we meet at part seterusnya. Chapter seterusnya. Okay, bye. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.